When it comes to agility, Sakari's foot talk drills are nothing short of extraordinary. Just see her lighting quick movements, precision in every step, and an, an ability to change direction seamlessly. It's the kind of agility that keeps her opponents on their toes, literally. Nobody in tennis arena navigates the court with such finesse and speed, making her a formidable force against any adversary. You will see her doing fast fit because they are the cornerstone of Sakari's training. Whatever, whether she's charging to the net or darting along the baseline, her footwork is a statement to her commitment to, to perfection. It's not just about hitting the ball, it's about being in the right position at the right time. And her rapid footwork ensures she's always ready for the next shot. And another, and another thing she can't miss is the court coverage. Uh, it's, um, it's a dimension where Sakari's footwork truly shines. The entire court seems like her playground, thanks to her ability to cover the, the ground swiftly and effective and efficiently. Her opponents often find themselves themselves in a game of catch up, struggling to predict where, where the ball will land next. This level of court coverage is a strategic advantage, forcing rivals into errors and creating openings for Sakari to exploit. Uh, so what sets Maria Sakari apart is her exceptional agility to change direction with unparalleled f finesse. It's like watching a masterful dancer gliding, gliding across the court. So whether she is in an offensive position at the baseline or defending against a, a relentless onslaught, Sakari's foot of enable her to make split second decisions and execute the right shots with precision. It's a um, skill that keeps her, keeps her in control of the game, dedicating the tempo and frustrating her opponents. You know, um, Sakari's opponents often find themselves in a mental quadri when facing her. The pressure she exerts through her movement and athleticism forces them to into making errors, thinking they need to go above and beyond a score points against her. Her footwork is not just phys physical, it's a psychological weapon that adds another layer into a competitive edge. Lucky enough, one of Sakari trademarks is her relentless pursuit of heavy ball. She never gives up on a play, chasing down shots that seem hopeless out of reach. Uh, this tenacity not only demo demoralizes her open, but also earns her points other might have deemed lost cause. It's a statement to her work ethic and the relief that every point matters. This footwork drills extend beyond a mere defensive maneuver. Maneuvers, they are the building blocks of Sakari's offensive game. As well, the drills help her initiate her, the net attack with the confidence, showcasing her ability to, to transition seamlessly um, from the basin to the net. Winning point with the volley becomes second nature and her opponent are left scrambling to counter the versatility style of the play. And, it's the, and in the world of tennis, quick and explosive movement can be the difference between victory and even sometimes defeat. Sakari footwork drills are designed to enhance this crucial aspect of a game, the ability to return the ball with lighting speed and precision not only pulls up in control of rallies uh, but also as pressure on opponents leaving them with little room of um, errors, may say. This is good. The intensity and toughness that she brings to this workout plays a crucial role in enhancing 
a performance. On the 10th chord, picture this, a powerhouse of explosive and fast movements and at the center of it all is a rock solid core that acts as a, the anchor of her entire body. Why is core training so crucial for tennis players like Sakari? Well, uh, it's not just about getting those uh, co coverted six packs abs, it goes much deeper than that. The stability provided by a well trained core is the secret weapon that allows her to seamlessly um, transition between movements that can make her can make or break a match. Kindly try to imagine the swift shift lateral movements required in tennis. Those lighting fast changes in direction that leaves open scrambling. Sakari stabilized. Ko is the unsung hero in these moments, allowing her to pivot with precision and execute those sudden shift effortlessly, like having a built-in grace scope, enable her to turn on a dime and keep her adversary guessing. Um, but it's not just about agility, it's also about balance. A strong core is the linchpin lynch of maintaining equilibrium on the court. Whether she's stretching or a wide shot or charging the net, Sakari Ko acts as a central hub, ensuring she stays upright in a, and in control. This new found balance is a game changer, amplifying her ability to dedicate flow of the game. Now, let's talk about momentum. Tennis is a sport of momentum shift, the ebb and flow of points that can tip the scales in an instant Sakar instant. Sakari's call would workers play a vital role in enhancing her ability to generate and sustain momentum. Um, uh, with a stable call, she can simulate the transition from a defensive stance to aggressive at attack, catching her opponent off guard and dedicating the tempo of the match. And let's not forget about injured prevention. Tennis is demanding on the body and the sudden burst of speed and directional changes can take a toll. And Sakari's education to coach training serves as, as protective shield, reducing the risk of injuries by, by providing a strong foundation for the entire muscle, 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 muscle skeletal system.